There have been dozens of new grading companies popping up and I decided to try some mystery packs from one of these new grading companies and we're gonna see how it turned out. <laughs> What's going on everybody? Welcome back. You're watching the channel Dr. Applesauce 2. My name's Will. It's another beautiful day here in Texas. I hope you guys know that I love you, that God loves you, and that there's an awesome plan for your life. Since the big Pokemon boom in 2020, a lot of new trading card grading companies have popped up. I've seen so many Facebook ads for trading card grading companies that I don't even know what to think. PSA and Beckett both got so slammed and backlogged, so many Pokemon cards and so many sports cards that both of them effectively had to shut down. CGC popped up and started becoming you know one of the household name services to send your cards to and so now those are the big three since that happened and since several of them had to shut down and times got really really backed up a lot of companies have popped up out of nowhere that are saying hey we'll grade your cards so i have a little channel in my collecting with dr applesauce discord group that if you want to join the discord there's a link in the description below this says video ideas somebody dropped me a video idea for this new grading company called tga the grading authority i'd heard of the grading authority once or twice and they had these mystery packs 30 bucks for two slabs and one mystery pack now, i bought these on december 20th and they were guaranteed to be shipped out in three days and you can see that we're in february and i just got these so we're going to check out five of these mystery slab pack i spent over 150 dollars to see what kind of stuff we're actually going to get what the grades are going to actually look like from tga and because of a couple of things i'm kind of worried about the money i spent if this is your first time to the channel and you like all things pokemon i bring you two to three videos a week on pokemon that are like nothing else anybody else is doing so make sure to hit that subscription button and that notification bell if you don't want to miss anything click the join button if you want to become a member of the channel get access to special perks and special giveaways okay so like i said i ordered these back on december 20th and they were taking forever and I emailed them and essentially long story short they got a lot more orders than they expected and so they were backed up having to produce more inventory which means hey we didn't have enough cards to send you so we have to grade more cards so that we can send you so I guess they were buying more cards to grade so that they could send out. I'm really not sure about that. That was fine. Th those were a little bit behind. They finally came in, so I'm okay with that. But here's what I'm not okay with. When I get my package after waiting over a month and I get my package and it's not even taped. This isn't even taped shut. And then when you open the package up that's not taped shut, let's see if we get this open. Granted, this is a nice box, but anybody could have opened it up on the inside. What we have here is we have our mystery packs, but you might notice that's missing from the inside of the box. There's no order form, there's no confirmation, there's nothing. It's a little strange to me that after being over a month late, that they would ship it out with no tape on the box. Anybody could have opened that up and taken whatever they wanted with no printing, packing receipt, nothing like that. I even emailed them and said, hey, this is what happened like oh, you know, over a week ago when I first got the box and I've heard nothing from them. So I know TGA is probably run by a small company. They're probably doing their best. And I'm just being open and honest with you guys with what I'm seeing and some of the inconsistencies that make me wonder, like, I don't know if I'm gonna go with them again. But what we have inside of these is we have uh, these mystery packs that were $30 each. They include two TGA slabs which is guaranteed to have colored or numbered cards. I'm not sure what colored or numbered cards mean with at least a grade of nine. So each of these is guaranteed to be a grade of nine. I'm really not sure exactly what that means because they graded them themselves so they could guarantee whatever the grade would be. I, I don't know. <laughs> with random packs, including big hits. No base cards will be included in these packs. So no base set Pokemon cards. You can choose from the sports mystery pack, the Pokemon mystery pack, or the TCG mystery pack. So I got four Pokemon mystery packs and one TCG, which is just like random other TCG. I don't know which one is which. They all say the exact same thing. So we're going to open these up. We're going to see what we got. We're going to see, you know, if it's worth it. Let's jump into it and, and see if I just lost out on 150 bucks or maybe I get something cool. All right, y'all, let's dive in here and see if I just wasted a bunch of money or if I'm actually gonna have a nice little come up here. There should be two slabs in each one. There's nothing telling me what's what. So four of these should be Pokemon and one should be just like random other trading cards, which could be anything, could be Weiss, could be Metazoo, could be Digimon, could be Magic for all I know. So drop me a comment down below guys and let me know if y'all have ever used TGA. Let's see what we got. I don't know, let's see, how do we open these? Okay, boom, right here, okay. 
Let's see uh, what's the front and the back. It looks like the front. Okay, so it looks like we have two slabs in this one. Boom, anything inside, nothing inside. So two slabs here. I've never had anything from TGA before, so I don't really know what to expect with these. I will say it's very nice they put them in the uh, the little perfect fit sleeves. Your slabs can get all scratched up, which isn't something that you really want. And it looks like we have a nice QR code, which is something that DSG does. So we've got two Pokemon here, two English Pokemon. So let's see what our first one. Again, each of these was 30 bucks so 30 bucks for two so it doesn't have to be anything too crazy i'm honestly expecting a bunch of like v cards which is really probably what i'm expecting i'd be pleasantly surprised if i get all stuff that's not just a bunch of you know dollar v cards that are graded but let's see what we got right here okay the first one is a okay hey uh i'm surprised on the first one uh, a Shadow Rider, I'm sorry, an Ice Rider Calrax VMAX 9.5. So very interesting. You can see right there where we have the uh, coloring. I wonder if that's what they meant when they talked about the coloration. But a 9.5 Ice Rider Calrax VMAX, this isn't vivid huh? voltage. <laughs> My goodness well tga grading <laughs> you see right there it says 2020 vivid voltage this is definitely not vivid voltage ice rider calrex was not in vivid voltage <laughs> oh my goodness that's too funny <laughs> This is chilling rain, not vivid voltage. So there we go. Uh, I mean, I guess that's cool. It's an error, so that's interesting. Let's let's check out what this other one is. It's a 9.5, which isn't bad. Three, two, one, and next one is Flying Pikachu V Max from Celebrations. Okay, so this is kind of cool. So the yellow matching the Pikachu, I think this would have probably been better if it was this blue right here, because it would have matched like the artwork on the Pikachu better. But this one, at least, you know, it's got the right set. It's saying it's the correct set. Let's see, I want to see what happens if we hit the QR code, okay? All right, let's see, let's pull up the, the QR code. Okay, let's open up whatever it's going to have. And we've got, it's bringing up the grading authority. Okay, so we have the grading authority and it's not even it's not even okay i thought it would be bringing up something that was like the actual card um that's funny look at that right there there's the uh there's the there's the, the ice rider calrex but it's labeled correctly typically if you have a qr or something on the back it's gonna bring up like you know the actual card like it's going to show you your card that you have and it'll show you the you know the reasons it got the grade that it has but this just seems to be just a generic link to their website which is kind of i mean what's the point of that i'm trying to go in this with no bias i'm trying to go in this with you know an open mind and hoping that i'm gonna get some cool stuff uh that was a little bit of a bummer i was hoping that i could pull up and see like why they were getting 9.5s because the reality is they could just put whatever grade they want to on these i'm not i'm not saying that that's what they're doing but i'm saying that they could so from looking at them they do look pretty decent like i'm not a grader and i i can't really you know i don't have a microscope or anything kind of sad that this is the wrong set on there but okay all right let's go for our second one uh, okay we've got our second our second packs right here oh, okay so this must be the other so it looks like we have a Yu-Gi-Oh card here and we have a Dragon Ball Super card, which this will be cool because I love Dragon Ball Z. I don't know much about Yu-Gi-Oh. So let's see what's right here on the Yu-Gi-Oh. And we have a 9.5 PM Captor 2015 World Superstars. This is a super rare from Yu-Gi-Oh. Okay, so let's look it up on, a, I don't know, let's look it up on eBay because I don't know anything about these cards. Pokemon, I'll obviously be able to know if they're good hits. Let's look this up on eBay real quick, know if it's a good hit. Okay, so this specific card has multiple listings for about a dollar fifty. Let's call it dollar fifty. So dollar fifty card. What's the grading service cost? Maybe ten bucks. I mean, if you factor in the grading cost, it's worth you know. Okay, we're looking at something worth about twelve bucks. Okay, so far I'm I, I'm I'm not exactly impressed with what I'm seeing here. Uh, but let's check out the Dragon Ball Super, and we've got ooh, Sun Gohan Spirit v Boost. Vindicator, this one coming in at a pristine 10, 2021 deck box, very nice. I don't know, so it says expansion rare. Dragon Ball Super fans out there who collect Dragon Ball Super cards, let me know. Uh, this is actually cool for me. Uh, I love Dragon Ball Z. 
and Gohan is my favorite Dragon Ball Z character. And I'll, I'll give TGA this. This looks good. This looks good with that. So being a Dragon Ball fan, uh, a Dragon Ball Z fan, I, I'm gonna, I, I dig this. This this actually looks really, really good. I really have no idea as to the value on Let's this. Let's look that up on eBay real quick and see what we got. But it looks like we've got anywhere from like 250 to four to five bucks. So this one seems like it's probably a pretty fair value. Uh, and it is saying that it's a pristine 10 which is which is cool looks really good so honestly i like that a lot better than this Yu-Gi-Oh one not exactly sure what's up with that and real quick gonna announce something real fast if you guys want to win something uh i'm gonna give away one of these cards something that i pull from here i'm gonna give away to you guys i want you to drop me a comment down below and let me know what was the first ever Pokemon booster pack you remember opening. For me, it was base set way back in 1999. Drop me a comment down below and let me know what the first Pokemon booster pack you ever opened was, whether it was a kid 20 years ago or you started collecting last year. And that will give you your entry into this giveaway. And then I'll choose a random winner, you know, sometime down the future, we'll announce it on Instagram. So drop that comment down below. Here's a little hidden giveaway for you. But we have three more packs that are all Pokemon. So let's see what we can get in here and uh with our next ones okay so these next three should be all pokemon and i really wish i really wish this went to something showing you the grades i don't really know much about tga tga doesn't have much of a reputation that i'm aware of so that's a bit of a disappointment okay let's see what our next one is and boom all right what was i telling you guys i'm honestly expecting a bunch of like v cards which is really probably what i'm expecting in my opinion these types of cards of pokemon you really love these typical ultra rare V's are really pointless to grade. They're never gonna hold a lot of value. There's not really much point to grading them at all unless it's a Pokemon that you really, really like. All right, let's see if we get another V card uh, on the next one and boom. Okay, here we go. We actually got a classic collection from Celebrations and another pristine 10. I'm very curious what these 10s would actually cross over to uh, in regards to a 10 in CGC or PSA, but uh, I'll take a 10. And this is the Garchomp Level X, one of the more common pulls from uh, from Celebrations, but still uh, I'll take this graded over, uh, over a V card any day. And I have to say, I kind of like, I kind of like the color, the, you know, the colorized uh, labels looks really good on the Garchomp. That looks super dope with the Dragon Ball. So, so far three of the, uh, you know, we're three of the five in. I'd say I'm at about a, eh, it's kind of cool. Not bad. I don't feel like I've been ripped off or anything, but there are a bunch of incon inconsistencies here that make me kind of scratch in my head. But for 30 bucks each, it's not... It's not terrible, but I'm not getting any cards that really have any value. These are all cards that are worth a few bucks and the value that's being added is from their grading service. So, I mean, it's a smart way for them to, to get their product out there and get their slabs out there, I suppose, but I'm just not seeing a ton of value, but I'm not mad about it. There are some, like I said, some few things that are inconsistencies, but okay, we got our next Pokemon pack. Let's see what we got. Can we hit anything good? We've got some tens. Can we get a 10 of a card that actually has some value on it? Let's go. Uh, and a, another random, <laughs> another random V card. This is from Sword and Shield, the EV, you know, it's a Black Star promo. So this is actually kind of weird that this is right here, the 2020 Sword and Shield. It's just a Sword and Shield Black Star promo. So the EV Black Star promo V and a 9.5 actually looks pretty good. Another one of those cards that it's a little weird to grade okay let's go for the next one and boom oh okay that's interesting 2019 mewtwo gx so this isn't a promo but it is from hidden fates and it is the mewtwo gx pool looking really cool with honestly gotta say looking really cool with that uh that purple right there so so far we've opened four of our five mystery bundles and uh, my favorite one is the Dragon Ball Z card because all of the Pokemon cards are like, I don't know what to say. Like, this is cool. It's fun. This was $120. Is this $120 worth of cards? Maybe we can throw a little raw value up on the screen with the raw value of all these cards would be. I'd put the raw value of all these cards probably under $20. I mean, uh, $10 for each one to be graded. Okay. Uh, um, that's cool. But you know, you're wanting, you buy these types of things. You're wanting to hit something good. Like I said, I'm not upset that I've ordered these. I mean, we've got the wrong label. I'm a little annoyed that they came not taped, not sealed without any type of like packing slips or anything like that. That was very strange. 
uh, but it, it's fun to try. And I have to be admit, they look good. The, the colors, they look really, really good, the, the colored labels. All right, we have two left. Let's check out our last two, and we have a boom. All right, a pristine tin Dark Gyarados from Celebrations. That's actually pretty cool. So we have, uh, so far we have one, two, three tens, and I'm always a little skeptical, like, okay, it says it's a 10, but like, I can't, th this doesn't lead me to anything that shows me like what, you know, the flaws on the other ones are. Uh, so I'm always just kind of curious, like, is it really a 10? How, I just, I'm not saying it's not really a 10. How do I know? Okay, so from a Celebrations Classic Set pull, I'm actually happy about that. And uh, our last card of 10, can we actually get a card that's worth something? I don't know. It said that there's some ultra rare pulls available, like it says right here. So let's see what the last one is. Boom. And it's... Uh... <laughs> It's a Blissey, a V card from Chilling Rain. <laughs> oh my goodness. What did I say? I expect to get a lot of V cards. One, two, three, three Vs, a Mewtwo GX, which is similar to a V. Calrex VMAX, okay. Yeah, Blissey V. I, I can't say I'm super excited about having all these graded V cards. I mean, it looks good. The pink, I don't know. I think this probably would have looked better with a black, uh, a black label right there, so. Yeah, there you go. What do I think about this? I don't know. Like, I wanted to do this uh, TGA, 150 bucks. I don't have anywhere near 150 dollars worth of cards. I would have honestly never graded <laughs> any of these cards unless unless these were cards that like you love those Pokemon. Like, those are your favorite Pokemon, or it was a very special pull for you, or it was a very special gift for you, or something. So I don't know. I, I, it's hard to say. Would I recommend this mystery pack? It came a month late. It wasn't taped. There's an, this isn't even the right set. This says vivid voltage when this is chilling rain, a bunch of like cards that, you know, you really realistically, you shouldn't be grading these cards that are worth a dollar or two. Maybe I, don't, I really don't know what to say about, about these. I think it was fun but it wasn't worth anywhere near $150. The fact that all out of all of these cards, my favorite one is the uh, the Gohan. And I don't even collect Dragon Ball Super stuff. Like I like this, I'll really, really keep that. Uh, the fact that that's my favorite one of them all, it's gonna have to lead me to say I wouldn't recommend uh, these mystery packs. 30 bucks. Like if you were at, you know, a Collecticon or a convention or something, and these are there for 30 bucks too. Hey, that'd be fun to snag one right then and there, but waiting all that time, I'm not sure. Don't forget to enter to win one of these slabs that was mentioned earlier in the video. All right, my friends, well, I hope I earned your subscription today. I hope you check out some of these other videos. Lots of cool stuff for you to enjoy. If you haven't already hit that subscription button and that notification bell, give this video a thumbs up because likes are free. And like I always say, find somebody to love and serve today and be the change you want to see in the world. We'll see you next time.